Do we really have to do this one? <laughs> do we seriously have to review this movie? No one's gonna see this movie. Why are we doing this? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Whiskey <laughs> Business. My name is Josh. And I'm Mike. And we saw Johnny English three. Three. <laughs> yeah, number three. And we're gonna let you know how blacked out you have to be to watch this movie. You know, Josh, I get the feeling that you didn't really care for this movie too much, and you're a little inebriated. What gave you that idea? Was it because I told you I fucking hated it? <laughs> you're looking particularly beautiful tonight. You're looking particularly beautiful tonight. Ching. Johnny English uh, strikes again. Strikes again is about a secret agent mm -hmm. who's dumb as fuck. Yep. He's tasked with saving England from a cyber attack. Pretty much. He's dumb as fuck, and that's the joke. <laughs> He's dumb as fuck. <laughs> Welcome to Johnny English Three. He's dumb as fuck. <laughs> but with his helpful sidekick. Yeah. Uh, Boof? He was kind of like the the brain to his Inspector Gadget, if you will. This movie is Johnny English tripping and falling down for an hour and a half. No, no, it was a little bit more than that. He ran out of gas. When did they make Johnny English 2? Was I in a coma? I don't even remember <laughs> that even happening. All of a sudden, I show up and I'm like, this is the third one? If you watch this movie and cannot predict every joke or plot point that happens, you might need to check your pulse. You're probably dead. Because this is the most simple story you've ever seen with the most simple jokes that have only worked like 15 <coughs> years ago. So Josh, what did you like about the movie? They didn't waste any time like fucking setting up all this other shit. Like within three minutes, he's a spy again and they're doing their dumb, stupid shit. We're just gonna roll with it, people. Yes. Let's go. Thank you for doing Let's that. Let's go. <laughs> we got a wrap in five business days. <laughs> if you wanna see some of the best dancing you've ever seen in your entire life, Mr. Bean, good old Mr. Bean, got down in this movie. And uh, I thought that was epic. There were a couple of scenes that I did chuckle at, but then I ended up hating myself <laughs> for laughing. Because <laughs> I started to laugh and then I was like, oh God. Oh, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> I'm part of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I would give Johnny English strikes, uh, Johnny English strikes my intelligence. <laughs> I would give this movie uh, straight up blacked out. There's no reason to watch this. It is not funny. If you thought the first one was funny, remember that came out 10 years ago and somehow they stuck a second one in that no one knew about. There's nothing worse than a comedy that doesn't do comedy. <laughs> you were like, tell a fucking joke, Johnny. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Bean, make me laugh, bitch. For my review, I guess I'm gonna have to go blacked out. This is the type of movie where you're gonna be so hammered, you black out on the couch, you wake up and Netflix is playing it, and then you're just gonna wanna drink some more and then <laughs> back out again. No one must have the slightest clue we're here. Cheers, until next time, remember to stick around with us. Wow. <laughs> Make sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified when we are uploaded so you guys can drink along with us. And how about another question of the day for you? What's your favorite like slapstick comedy movie? Airplane? Uh, Hot Shots. Part 2. 